Hello, welcome, my dear Virgos, to your September reading. At least the beginning of it for this current year. Virgo, this is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. It might not work if you don't believe in it, or it will. One of the two. You just gotta figure out which one's which, right? Right. And if you want a personal reading after this, my email... Facebook and Instagram are in the description box below. You can hit me up there. First readings free of charge, and I, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Love yous. Anyway, let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. It's just going to be a sixth way today, so. Ah, uh, you're stuck in your head? Okay, well, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're always there. And you feel like giving up in the situation. Or it feels like you can't fight off against whatever your obstacle is, right? Now, your wants and wishes, you don't want to create something. Which is, seems like it's kind of childish of you. I mean, this is the page of uh, pentacles, right? And you are an earth sign. And usually, this particular page, I like to say is an idiot. Because they can't get anything done. Or something's not being done correctly. But it'd be strange if that's you, Virgo, so I don't know if this is you or someone you're dealing with. The obstacle and challenge coming against you. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Bad intentions when planting that flower in the desert, ignoring the fact that you're planting a flower in the desert. Because, you know, that, that, that it really doesn't work that well as it is imprinted on the card. The fears and rejections right now... Ace of a sword. Someone is fearing or rejecting what is actually true and isn't true. Then we have what brings everything full circle, what started it and how it will end. Just is. Labor's car. No justice, no peace. And someone's definitely not having any peace of mind while they're trying to decide what to do. And they need a head over heart decision. We got a Queen of Cups here. A crazy manipulative lady. <laughs> Uh, might be a little bit promiscuous. She can be a water sign. Cancer, a Pisces, Scorpio. She doesn't have to be. You guys have been dealing with a water sign a lot. Especially in your uh, shadows of judgment, I've been noticing. The little weeklies I do for you guys. And it's like... This person uses her... It's like she uses her charm. Kind of like the Deviant Moons deck, um, Queen of Cups. She looks like she's got good intentions, but that cup's poison. Be careful. She's kind of a witchy face. She's got a lot of knowledge, considering she's wearing those glasses. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Someone's stuck in their head because, like, something did not work and they want to give up on that in this situation. Not try to create something new here because they feel like they don't have the skill for it. But they have to come to a head over hard decision in this case and they're afraid of looking over something that is disastrous, if not mischievous. Eight of Swords, right? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. She's probably being nasty. Being harsh, being illogical, or this person, this parent, is being illogical and like what's keeping them stuck. Just cutting whatever out because like they just feel like it. Which is like, okay, that's mature. <laughs> Could be a Libra, doesn't have to be. Just someone in the energy, of course. Also, cross watchers switch where necessary. Same with the main zodiac sign. Don't come in here saying I'm reading for the wrong person or whatever. Don't come in here saying I'm saying bad words because I'll say fuck all day long. It does not bother me one bit. Then asphyxiation. Asphyxiation is my favorite word, honestly. It's the prettiest word, I think. Regardless, seven of wands reverse. What do you feel like giving up in this situation? Queen of cups reverse once again. Someone. F what? Does someone feel attacked by her? It's like no matter what you try to do, she's always like going on on you or just you got to kind of yield to her because you know she's crazy. Damn. Who are you dealing with, Virgo? 
Someone just it got you all in your head and shit. Or you're doing that to somebody else, which is like, ah. Uh, but that, that would be scary if a Virgo had a, had a rage against you. I would be scared of that shit. Like, y'all watch, like, murder mysteries and shit way too much. Some gruesome shit. My mom watches the craziest stuff that just makes me so uncomfortable and be like, how can you watch this, Mom? Oh, well, it's a good show. Mom, no, it's not. They just showed someone getting their throat slit in a really violent manner, and it was kind of gross. Well, it, it's not like it's real. It just said it was real footage, Mom. Oh, well, I didn't even pay attention. Like, it does not bother her, not one bit. And it's like, how? How? Uh, king of Cups was this princess of pentacles. Somebody wants and wishes for a king of cup, but they feel like either nothing can start with him because they don't have the ability to start it with him, or he's really dumb but very wise. Once again, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. He can be the counterpart to this Queen of Cups, but I... They're connected. I want to almost say that they're the same person, but, like, backwards? Like, one's wise and one's fucking nuts? Like, we, you know, it, that's technically the exact same fucking thing. It's just gauged a little bit differently, that's all. Um, either way, they both are capable of doing whatever. But it feels like something just got miscarried with this dude or whatever I hate to say because you know triggers and such some people don't like hearing that word I don't but I'm getting used to it of course uh, what is the obstacles and challenges for you that you're not fighting off with this whole desert shit right a few cards popped up um like, something didn't arise or something did not become plentiful with the Ace of Coins right here. Someone wasn't able to rest and rejuvenate because they got some info. They, like, found something developed and it found out or something came up. Like, suddenly. Like, you know, um, where, where did I just do with that one? Right here. Okay, look at There's, like, books and shit, and money was put into this shit, right? And it's like, the knowledge came in, it just came in, like... After someone kind of, you know, um, excessively studied it for a bit, you know? It's like, it, it, like, almost like, it's taken all, it's taken a long time before it finally sprung up, and it had to come with somebody's unrest a little bit. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Reverse, Success, Rule. That didn't happen. See, like, I, like, did you try to control a situation or something? And it just didn't pan out the way you thought it would? Um, because you have some wrong idea about an emperor right here. Some sort of control freak. Or you're afraid that's the answer. Or you're trying to reject that that's an answer. And maybe we're, like, this is, like, kind of creepy with this person. This person kind of creeps me out, Virgo. I don't know who this is. I don't know who you're dealing with, but this queen really creeps me out a little bit. Or their situation with this queen of cups kind of creeps me out. Because it's like... Like those glasses and the swirling pool of, like, intuition. It kind of speaks to me like stalker. I don't know how right that is, though. But it feels like stalker. Head over our decision with the Justice card. Libra's card. Trying to come to some right moral choice. About an empress. Ooh, look at that. She would be the counterpart to the king. To, no, no, the, the emperor up here. Okay, so this could be two different people. And they might be connected somehow. But the Emperor is a nut job, and the Empress is just sitting here lounging around like, Mow. I'm, I don't feel like chasing you. Just, uh, like, let me chill, man. It's, like, way too early. <laughs> like, she's a night owl almost, too. That's cute. I love that kitty. I love the fact there are so many kitties on this deck. Oh, okay. 
Um, two cards came up. Someone is going to find some emotional fulfillment after, like, coming out of the cold. All this com concern and, like, worry about, like, this right here. Hold on, wait. Everything fell on the floor. And I'm not reading. I'll read you because you're by yourself. Because you're apparently important. Okay. The rest of you can go back in. Well, there's the devil, so I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe this was not a good relationship right here. We also have the sun. Someone wants to get to a golden period, a golden state. Someone does not want to be involved in this shit no more. See. Virgo, it's like it's almost like you're tired of trying to satisfy somebody. It's like they're getting on your nerves, and they're kind of stalkerish too. Like they're always up in your shit or something like that. Like you're scared you made a wrong choice here or something like that. Like, you're trying to come out of this whole concern and shit of what happiness is or that emotional fulfillment that's dealing with this Queen of Cups, right? So what is the first group of cards? You have the King of Swords right here who's looking concerned, being like, man, I don't know what to do, you know? Because uh, there's heartbreak involved here with the Three of Swords. What? Okay, what is going on, like, with this? Like, this, is, is he realizing he's gonna have to break some hearts? That he's been getting, like, backstabbed, and now he's gonna do the same thing. We have the Queen of Cups right here. She's kind of almost looking insane. She's still dancing on fucking turtles, so, you know. Um, not knowing really what to do with her, because, like, right now she's upright. Which is weird. Um, but... Someone's bucking the system, or someone's being really, really uh, stuck in their old ways with the hierophant. Uh, this page of wands right here is like making music that's like terrible to listen to and causing people to be irritated by it on purpose just to be bitch, you know, because you can. Uh, someone's moving to calmer waters in order to find a place where they can gain some balance between like the light and the dark, their shadow and their own flame sort of like definitely trying to look for calm patience balance now there are some things that people feel like as a missed opportunity here and that does come to light later oh yeah oh my goodness i'll take those two all three and then this one down okay um someone does want to come in from the cold or get out of this cold situation but they feel like the situation is um oh, excuse me um irreconcilable i feel like now the moon is here could be cancer or pisces you know uh water sun's already in here so someone might have some secrets that they've been harvesting keeping somewhere right and that's left somebody really indecisive on whether they should kill the bird or not. Or is that what it is? Well, someone just needs to drop one sword over the other. Like, what are you doing? Which sword do you want? Um, because you're gonna have the need. You're gonna need it to fight some stuff off. Yeah. Like that bird could easily get out of this situation. They just have chosen not to. What, kitten? Bro. Okay, get on that side of the table here. You're being silly. There. Get in the chair. You can chill there. Okay. Last three cards, y'all. We got the Magician Reverse. He's up to no good. He's coming to chill around your neighborhood. You got one little fight and his mom got scared. He said, go and live your uncle. Ah, 
Here's the Queen of Wands making some sweet music. Uh, it's like this magician wants to go after her. Make her a bitter empress. Mmm. This one's kind of crazy, Virgo. This one is kind of like a uh, rough. Whoever this queen is, this queen of cups, I, I feel like she's like, um, she's a little greasy. A little bit greasy. Not like insulting greasy. I mean like greasy is in like the Canadian slang term for fucked up or something. I don't know, but there's something up with her. You know what? Fuck it. What's up with this queen of cups right here? What's her problem? Like why is she all nettled? Now, this could be you being nettled, but I feel like this isn't you. She wants a victory. She wants to be the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But that's a burden. I'm feeling like a stalker, man. I'm feeling stalker with her a lot right here. It's like you want a victory to be like the mother figure, even though that's like a heavy fucking burden to carry. It's like, why? Or she wants a victory over this bitch, but that's like a hard thing to fucking accomplish for one of the two. But like, there's something funky with her. I'm, I'm making that your title. The Queen of Cups is kind of a stalker. That's the title of your freaking video. That is your reading, my darlings. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure from me, but I would greatly enjoy it. I promise. Um, love your faces, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-byes.